Here is an introduction to exponential decay, focusing on half-life. Here is the formula for exponential decay on half-life. The A sub t represents your end amount after your half-life has gone by your time. Your A naught represents your initial amount. 0.5 is your decay rate. And then your exponential piece is your t over k. t represents your time, and k represents how long it takes for a half-life to happen. So I'm just going to read through this. You don't need to write these numbers down. Here's just a quick example of what a half-life um, rates might be for some different uh, radio radioisotopes. Okay, so let's go on to this example. Pretend we have a radioactive substance that has a half-life of 20 minutes. If we begin with 500 grams of some sample, how much of the original sample remains after two hours? So we'll just start off with just a simple XY chart. We have our time on the left and the amount of our sample on the right. So when our time is zero, we have 500 grams. Then 20 minutes go by, and we now have half that amount. So now we're down to 250. We continue doing this every 20 minutes, and we mark down how much we have in the amount. So 40 minutes, we now have half the amount of the 20 minute, which is 250. 60 minutes, now we're half that amount, 62.5, and continue on. When we're down to 120 minutes, which is two hours, the amount that we have left in our sample is 7.8125 grams. So 7.8 grams. What we're going to do later is use some formulas to help us to find this out instead of having to continue halving and halving and halving again. Not letting me stop here. 